says, bump, 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 Jonathan, how can I protect myself from getting hurt by another guy? How can I protect myself from getting hurt by another guy? Um, first off, I want to thank that the person who wrote that into me because this is an important topic that I want to lean into today. Because here's what, listen, most everybody who's in who's experienced at least a couple, three or four decades of life or more has had one, if not several relationship experiences that didn't go well. Okay, that's pretty much standard norm. In fact, it could be more than one or two. It could be multiple people. And what happens for so many people, they actually feel a level of hurt and that hurt can turn into bitterness and jadedness. Let me repeat that. Hurt can turn into bitterness or jadedness. And I want you to imagine this. You desperately want a life partner. Let's not even say desperately. You desire a life partner. You would like to have someone in your life to go the balance of your life in partnership with them, okay? But I want you to imagine that you're going out on a first date with a guy and you're sitting, you're sitting across from one another chatting and he literally can see every person, I'm gonna do this, he can literally see every person who's ever sitting behind you or has hurt you sitting right behind you because What's happened is if you're trying to protect your heart, if you're trying to protect your heart, you're blocking yourself from actually opening your heart to another human being. Let me repeat that. If you're trying to protect yourself, you're blocking your heart to open to another human being. And what happens is all they see right behind you is all the hurt you've ever experienced. And let me just tell you something, ladies. I'm not making this up when I say I've sat across from women at dinner, at drinks, and I can literally energetically feel everyone that's hurt them. It's in their languaging, it's in their communication, it's in their fear, it's in their judgment. And there, that is no way to approach a relationship with a wall trying to protect yourself. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Because the most important thing, if you genuinely want to experience a healthy, happy relationship, it requires having an open heart, an open heart so you can actually receive the love of someone else. And yet many of you are suckling on the nipple of the man must climb to the highest room to the tallest tower. Ladies, it is not our job to break down your walls. It is not our job to tear down your defenses. It's not our job. Our job is to show up um, with honesty, integrity, and trust. That's, I mean, to show up with a level of integrity. That's our job. And your job is to do the same. And each person's job is to have an open heart. Now, here's the real challenge. If you've been hurt in the past, the most important thing to do going forward is to heal, to heal those past hurts, to look at those past relationships and ask yourself, what positive things did I learn about myself in each one of these relationships? What positive things did I learn about myself in each one of these relationships? Number one. Number two, what was good about each relationship? What was good when you can lean into the good then you're not hyper-focused on what was wrong. And lastly, what are you most grateful for from each relationship? What are you most grateful for? And I'm talking about those relationships you feel hurt. Now, I understand many of you are so deeply entrenched in your hurt, you're actually operating from a place of victim consciousness, of victim consciousness. And I'm here to say, if you're operating from a place of victim consciousness, you will only attract more and more bad experiences because God, universe, or spirit wants you to love on yourself. God, universe, spirit wants you to love on yourself because it is through self-love, it is through healing, it is through forgiveness, both of yourself and everyone else, that you can actually begin to invite a great relationship in your life. And there is nothing easy about leaning into forgiveness. And if you're not familiar with the Hawaiian forgiveness prayer, I'm going to share this with you. It's called the Pono 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 Pono. 
And it goes like this. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Like giving yourself a shot of B12. It's actually L12. What love does is give ourself love. It starts forgiveness means forgiving love, giving yourself love. And when you can operate from an open heart, you actually have a greater opportunity to invite love into your heart. Because if you're hyper-focused on trying to protect yourself, folks, I'm sorry to say this, you'll be single for a very, 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 very long time. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to invite a great relationship in your life. And so if you need some love and support on this, then check out a link to free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Because I'm here to say when you learn how to ask better questions right from the get go, and that's my area of expertise, how to pre-qualify your prospect, you're going to have a greater chance of attracting a more quality guy in your life instead of focusing on trying to protect your heart. Are you with me on this? Will you do this for me? Please let me know. Give me a thumbs up or hit amen because protecting your heart is just going to block you from attracting a great guy in your life. Okay, I want to thank that person for that question. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see. We're going to take one or two more questions right now.